Hi everyone, in this tutorial we are going to discuss about float in CSS3. Let's watch this. Before tutorial I explained about position. I think it's like a very clear explanation. So how to keep the positions uh, in your website. It's like a very clear explanation. If you miss the tutorial, the link was available in description. Just go and learn how to add positions into your website. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to discuss about float. So what is meant by float? So actually it's like a very important property guys in CSC. Generally while when I'm in beginner, I don't know how to use a float property like i searched many websites at last i came to know we are having a one property which is called float so that's why if you are really beginner or advanced it doesn't matter the float property you should know why because mainly if you want the particular element uh, should be in particular position so the float helps very much instead of like uh, position element instead of margin padding these all things instead of that float is very important so i'll take example and i'll explain how it was working then you can understand very clearly so generally yeah uh, first of all i'll uh, write I'll take the image, then you can understand very clearly. So, SRC, you know all of us how to write, how to add image in your website. So, I already explained in HTML. If you missed the tutorial, that link was also in description. You can learn how to add image in HTML. Okay, now I'm adding uh, the image which is called later.png, uh, jpg. Uh, always I'm adding the same image. Any image was available. I'll see here. Uh, just go to HTML and nature image yeah of course it's like a h and see the properties which properties you need it is png or jpg you need to know guys so it's like a jpg yes yes dot jpg you can give that so uh, i'm always giving uh, the same so you can give like s dot jpg yeah and it should be in quotations you always know that it should be in quotation yeah and just close this one and if you want uh, like a width and height, uh, you can give width and height also. I want to give width and height because it is like a very big image. You can see that of course it's like a hundred pixels or whatever it may be. So it's like a big image. I don't want it's like a, I want like a small image. So that's why I'm specifying which should be like uh, uh, 50 pixels and height should be also like I'm giving height also. Uh, so I'm giving height. So height also I'm giving like 50 pixels and just control S is it displaying or not we need to know right uh, you can see yes it's like a very small image uh, not bad uh, if you want big image you can give like 80 pixels and 80 pixels then it's like a somewhat big yes it's okay so normally the image was in like left side right if if the image you want like right side is it possible to keep the right side so yes we are having that is called property which is called float so just go to styles and just go here and just give img and just write the property which is called float flo80 float of right just give right because i want the image now in right side and just reload it guys are you observed or not i don't know it's in right side so if you if the particular element not only image you can take anything if your image like left generally it's like a default it is in left side if you want particular side so this is the best thing guys so if you give like none uh, it's the uh, displays like uh, you can observe it is in normal thing so just it's uh, normal which is default which is already in left side so this is the uses of uh, float i think it's like a very clear explanation generally if your image it i think center also works or not i don't know that i'll give just like center i think just reload it guys i think center was not works we are having like uh, four properties which is like uh, uh, left right none and inherit inherit you all of us know it takes the parent property so parent here which is like i'm a youtuber i think it's like takes or not i don't know just give inherit inherit and just control s and just reload it uh yeah inherit also not working so anyway 
so if you want the image should be in particular position so best example if you want the image should be in right side so this is the best way so directly you can give uh, the way instead of giving padding this all things just view automatically it was in right side so if you take like uh, uh, text as well as image in that time it will useful more and more so anyway it's like a clear explanation i think i hope you enjoyed something so i'll come with an another tutorial which is called media queries and that is the last uh, css tutorial in css uh, and that is all about in upcoming tutorial until then wait for next tutorial if you really like this video just give a share and like and just comment in comment section definitely i'll give you reply to your comments and if you're not subscribed to my channel just hit that subscribe button and you are going to learn lot many things in this channel and i'll come with a new video and new tutorials for you until then